Hi, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I request you to please click on the subscribe button immediately. Firstly, for today's recipe, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot enough, I'm going to drop the cubes of paneer into it. After adding all the cubes of paneer to it, I'm now going to fry this for about three minutes until the color of the paneer changes. Once the color of the paneer changes to a slightly yellowish color, you can now keep the cubes of the paneer aside. After keeping cubes of paneer aside in the very same pan, I'm now going to add three tablespoons of butter. After adding the butter, I'm then going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, three cloves and two finely chopped medium sized onions. After adding the onions, I'm going to mix it really well. And after mixing it well, I'm then going to let this fry for about 4 to 5 minutes. While the onion fries in the blender, I'm going to add half capsicum, two medium sized tomatoes, and 10 cashew nuts. After blending it, it should become into a puree paste, something like this. After 4 minutes, once the onions have become soft, you can now add the blended paste into it. After adding the paste, you can now mix this really well with the onions. After mixing it well, you can then add 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, and 1.5 and teaspoon of coriander powder. You can then mix this really well. After mixing it well, you can then add the salt as per taste. And you can then fry it for another 30 seconds. After frying it for another 30 seconds, you can then add one glass of water. And you can then mix this really well. After mixing it, you can then cover it with the lid and let it cook for a period of 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, I'm then going to add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder and a few fresh fenugreek leaves. And then we're going to mix this well. I'm then going to add an item which is not usually used in this dish. I'm going to add some fresh cream here to give it its creamy texture. Now after adding the cream, I'm going to mix this well with the dish. After mixing it, you would have now noticed here that it's got a nice creamy texture to it. At this point of time, you can now add the paneer cubes to it. Along with the paneer, you can also add a few fried onions to it. You can then mix the onions and the paneer well with the dish. You can now let this cook for another 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, you can now see that the paneer has got a great texture to it. So you can now switch up the flame and your dish is ready to be served. So if you did like this recipe, I'd request you to please click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.